Hello, welcome back to Melody Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I will be sharing with you um, this node tree that's basically uh, generate some kind of interesting topology um, where we have a geometry and each of every face is actually a Japanese chess or it's called sogi. So this one, uh, there's one gacha here, but the rest of them actually indeed generate this uh, kind of like a shogi or Japanese chess piece so this is how it looks like I never actually quite play this game but I'm familiar with uh, the look so the, uh, this was actually um, something that I saw on Twitter the other day um, shogi piece polyhedron um, maybe he is a student or a teacher and he actually made this this is like very efficient way to make uh, using wood carving and the secret is actually he show it here so you start with a box and then you poke the box and until and then after that there is this little bit of math where he calculate uh, the angle etc to get the piece the shogi piece so you can see this is the shogi piece happening if we get rid of the purple line just look at the black line this is actually very cool I thought this is okay like something that I could create in blender using Spreadshop and especially the part that's really the, the trick here is uh, this guy and I thought it's okay we can use uh, polygon adaptive for that and this is what I came out with and actually this is actually exactly what's going on I didn't get a hundred percent result because there is one part that's kind of funny uh, I'll, I'll show it to you if I turn on face orientation so this red part is actually still something that was originally is a bit wrong so I need to rotate it manually so to get the the full shogi chess piece um, geometry. But anyway, I, I'll I'll try to explain what's going on. So how how do I start? I start with a with a box size of two, and I poke it one, and then I from here I actually bake it out. So this, and I actually draw using uh, Blender. Try to try, try to draw the the chess piece, and then try to understand what's going on. And from this, basically from this geometry, I get rid of some of the edges. So we have this shape, which is a quad, but it's very interesting quad as well. It's like a it's like a diamond geometry. So if you have box and you plug it into diamond diamond node is actually very similar to that except that the poke area needs to be pushed right so that's a very interesting there actually something to study further if you like Anyhow, so once we have this shape, I actually bring it back into Spectral and then I, I tinker with this. Um, so we don't actually need this. So this is what's going on. Uh, what's going on for each of the polygon quad face? I'm replacing it with this shape and this shape is something that's actually SketchUp can do very very well um, using line it might be quite surprising but I'll, I'll show it to you so I'll turn off this I'm gonna show you this guy
Okay. So imagine each of the polygon face from here, each of the polygon face being replaced with these shapes <clears throat> that I generate using line. So if I move around the line, actually, so you can see it has effects on that area. And there's this thing called offset line that's actually generating that kind of shape. I I happen to know that, um, and then here I'm simply being able to rotate each and every face, um, this line on every face, and then using some kind of uh, pattern here, I'm rotating this face individually and as a result we have this actually this this the shogi piece actually so if i if i bake it out oops i need to bake it as a single object so i need to join it and then remove double and hopefully this if you This result and if I go to edit mode and select the the edge I can get rid of some and dissolve the edge and hopefully I can get a lot of soggy pieces I found this really quite interesting it's almost like a puzzle. So there's one one face that's actually wrong. Um, and it to be rotated manually, but I think it's actually it's it can be fixed. So we have like a some kind of algorithm here. So there is a number definitely that generate the exact value. Yeah, so there is one that's wrong, but the rest of them is correct. So this is the result, and if I display the face orientations, this is the piece that's actually wrong, and needs to be rotated manually. But other than that, this is actually work working. So, and so it creates this origami geometry. What is it called again? Shogi piece polyhedron. And I can, perhaps now I can try to fix that issues and you can, yeah, you can put it as like a kind of some kind of puzzle or maybe I'll send this to these guys and uh, send this result and so you can print it out. But anyway, I think it's an interesting little puzzle there. You can give it a try yourself. Maybe you, you have a solution that's better rather than uh, manually doing this. But I, I can see uh, it's like a math and geometry and there is some kind of algorithm or pattern going on underneath um, to get the exact result. But to be able to visualize it like this is actually quite interesting. I could never be able to do this without having the nodes and this actually helps me a lot. So yeah, hopefully this is useful. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.